Hi, my name is Peter Champ, and I'm the uh, executive chef here at Radius Restaurant on Folsom Street in the Soma. Uh, we focus on California cuisine with a local twist, and I'm here to show you a dish today with some McFarland spring trout, which is a sustainably farmed trout uh, north of us here, with some heirloom baby beets and apple celery root remoulade. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to have our, our pans preheated. And the trout here is really beautiful. We uh, already scaled it and filleted it. Um, we're gonna, it's really simple, we're just gonna season the skin with a little salt. I'm gonna do both sides. After you get that going, you want some oil in your pan for the fish. I'm gonna go ahead and put some oil in the pan for the, the roasted baby beets also. two types of baby beets here. We have uh, baby red and baby golden baby beets from uh, Perot Farms. They've already been roasted and peeled and just cut in various shapes. So we can go ahead and get these going in the pan. After we get them in the pan, you want it about medium heat, and we're gonna season these guys up too with a little salt, fresh black pepper. And since the beets have already been roasted, we're just gonna heat them through, get a little bit more color on them. So now that the oil for my fish is warm, you don't want the pan ripping hot, you just want it a good heat, like medium high, to get a crispy skin. Right when the fish hits the pan, I'm gonna press down on it, because the fish wants to contract. And as I'm pushing down, I'm getting even pressure on the skin, that way we try to get even color on the skin. After you press down on it for a little bit, you can actually just let it go. The fish is kind of relaxed now. We go back to our beets. And I'm going to continue cooking the fish on the skin side. That way I render out some of the oil in the skin, get it nice and crispy. While that's cooking, we can go ahead and get our plate ready. This here is an apple and celery root remoulade. It's an aioli based sauce uh, made with whole grain mustard, olive oil, egg yolks, a little apple cider vinegar, and then we have uh, minced apple and uh, celery root in there. We're going to plate it right in the center of our plate. back to our fish, make sure that they're doing okay. And our beets. Now that our beets are nice and hot, we're gonna plate them directly on top of the celery root remoulade. I kind of want to give a little variation in color and the different shapes. And the fish is actually going to sit right on top of this. So you want some of the different colors peeking out on the sides. Now, after this, fish has been cooking a little while. 
we can go ahead and flip it. We have nice color on the skin. And you just want to barely cook the other side. We can go ahead and get this to the plate also. But before I take the fish out, I have a mixture of uh, some soft herbs here. We have celery leaf, parsley, chervil, and some chive. And that's gonna go on top of the beets here. Kind of like a little fresh salad. Also on the plate, these are uh, house-made rye crackers that we, we make in-house. I'm gonna plate one of those guys there. Then we can go back to the fish. Make sure you drain off all the oil. Place it right on top. Some more rye cracker. Just, uh, just kind of want to build up and show every piece of the dish. One more piece on top. And I like just a little bit more garnish of the soft herbs that I have. So there you have it. Really simple dish. Just a crispy skin trout with rye, baby beets, and apple celery root remoulade. <laughs>